I guess I don't really show my process when I'm mapping out my markers because they're mine. It's it's mine. <laughs> Probably, you know, want to do something different, not exactly like me. Um, it's no big secret, uh, a quarter inch in on the base side for the base side and the treble side for the treble end. Um, I'll do a quarter inch in and a quarter inch off of the fret. Down here, 12th will be our bone inlay. Down here, uh, you quickly get into a point where uh, half, or I mean a quarter inch is more than half of the width of the fret, so I just center those, and then two dots on the 21st, I mean 24th, yeah, that's pretty much it, no big uh, secret. Now they don't need to be very deep. But, it is getting radiused, so, and it hasn't yet, so... We do need to go a little deep. Now, since we are doing a zero fret, I had to double check and make sure that I remember to not count that one. One, two, three, so... Um, actually I started backward from 24, but... I need clippers! Yeah, I started this without being totally prepared. <laughs> In true bonehead fashion. Those would work. We don't need them anymore. Go away. Once all that's done, it looks super nice like that. Yeah, not exactly my favorite task, but it needs to be done. I didn't know what an angle. Uh, if this bone would be too big. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> How it's gonna look. You dirty bitch. Apparently I need a sharper blade. Anyway, yeah. That would be just fine. Now, I wish I had some perloid or something. As Mr. Crow might say, mother of toilet seat. Because I've started to think, you know, I, I'm a huge fan of natural wood. I mean, very often, uh, Natural wood is the motivation or um, inspiration for an entire build. So, you know, I've enjoyed doing my inlays out of uh, wood. But, um, I think a lot of times, especially, alright, on a fretboard, especially with, you know, super white dots, and then the uh, inlay is 
not so super bright. Um, I wondered if it would be better if we did something perloid or, you know, something to that effect. I think this time we're going to try to make our bone out of bone. I think I'm gonna like a bone bone. Let me rephrase. I started to try the little baby router, because uh, that would be so much better in so many ways. And the poor weak little Dremel. I wish there was some happy medium between Dremel and router, but um, this poor little guy is, it just takes forever. But a uh, quarter inch cutter on the router was just, uh, everything in there is about a quarter inch, so we would just tear it up. I got a feeling that's probably too tight. It's really tight. I always have trouble opening it up without going too far. Uh, Alright. I'm going to open up all the sides just a tiny tiny bit try to get this to sink and then uh, go deeper ah oh, but it's so close oh shit it might have actually just sunk just damn tight super duper damn tight yeah but it, okay it is snapping in there wow that's gonna be the tightest damn inlay I ever did all right, we gotta go a lot deeper. Not all of that has to sink, but deeper nonetheless. It is <laughs> super snug, but it does snap in there, so. Super glue. That's as deep as it goes. Now, that is a fair amount to peel off the top of that, but um, we'll, we'll, we'll get that accomplished somehow. <laughs> okay, maybe time for some coca bolo dust. Ah, you got cheated a little bit. Um, I filed it down. I, this file seems to be the best for that kind of shit. It's relatively relatively brutal but not too bad. All the big files I got are super fine. So um, so I, I changed to them after a little while. I got it down to depth and um, I don't have any coca bolo dust but I do have uh, some Wenge and Red Heart mixed together. So I uh, super glued around here. We do have a couple tiny little gaps at corners and stuff. Uh, super glued the shit out of it and then uh, dropped in some of that uh, Wenger Red Heart dust. And 
I think we're probably dry now. We can maybe file that back. See how it looks. I think I'm going to be super happy with it though. I do believe. Yeah, I think I'm going to like the bone inlay so much. We'll have to do this from now on. Damn it, that looks good. Really, really, really good. <laughs> I'm really happy with that. One last check. Make sure we are absolutely as flat as a white girl's ass. Yeah, okay. Nothing left to do but do it. I want to just barely be outside the hole just enough to have something to hold on to. So, we lose virtually no surface area, virtually no, tiniest little sliver on either side. Tape protects your hole, leave the damn tape. Okay. I can't think of a reason to wait. I can't. I tried. I tried. I couldn't come up with anything. You know, if I uh, do it tomorrow, <laughs> uh, that would not make for a good day. Just like that. Okay. Shitty chisel. I gotta say, that was a, an exceptionally painless glue up. Um, <laughs> Alright, I'm sold. I might, uh, I might, I might do registration pins from now on. That, uh, that worked really well. Okay. Tomorrow. Thanks for joining me. If you like what we're doing, if you're digging it, like and subscribe. Catch you next time.